Hello again everyone, it's time for my weekly update video. So here it is. Um, I went in this morning and I was a little disappointed to be honest. Um, I put a pound on despite being really very good this week. Um, I know full well it's hormonal because uh, the shark said you to start swimming next week. But I always hope that it's just going to be that week instead of the week before. So obviously this week it's hit the weight, the bloating has hit early this week. So I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't um, at least maintain, which would have been better. But I'm not going to be downhearted or disheartened about it. I'm just going to move on and uh, really stick to the plan and hope that next week when the sharks are swimming, it doesn't mean they hold on to everything. <laughs> um, but this week as well, in class, so I'm just going to change my seating there. I <clears throat> stayed on to the new members talk after my class, I stayed on to the next group because it occurred to me last week that um, I'd never actually had my joiners talk. Uh, when I first joined a year past Easter, I joined a different group and I was quite late to arrive so I only caught the last five minutes of the talk, the tail end, which was the bit that said basically pasta, potatoes, rice are free and I was like, woohoo! which is brilliant because they're some of my favourite foods. <laughs> and of course I read the book and everything and stayed to group every week. So I, I knew the plan anyway, but um, I always arrived too late at that group um, to sit in on a different, um, a, a new start talk on a different week. And I've, since then I've changed groups. It, was, it made more sense to go to a, a Friday one that was closer than the other one on a Tuesday. And uh, last week, another long-standing member who's a friend of mine, hi Kath, um, she decided to stay to the New Start talk to refocus and kind of get a reboost. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do that. And so uh, this week I did that. And um, it has helped me refocus, I think. I think I feel a lot more positive about it, even though I've had a gain this week. And I'm feeling far more like I did when I started the plan. Um, so <clears throat> I'm hoping that it will help make the difference. Um, I also decided to try some different uh, hi-fi bars this week. My favourite ones are the chocolate orange ones. You can have two of those for your healthy bee. And I always stick to the hi-fi light bars because I can have two of them. But then I thought, why have two when, you know, normally on, before I did the plan, I wouldn't usually pick up two cereal bars and eat them. I would have one cereal bar when I fancied one. So I thought, well, because I can have two, I'm eating two. So I thought I'd try the um, caramel ones, which are the six thin ones, and you can only have one of them for your healthy bee. And um, because I was staying later to class, I had eaten my melon and passion fruit, both speed, yummy. And um, I was feeling a little bit peckish because it was heading towards lunchtime. And I thought, well, I'll give one of those a try. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God, well worth it. So <laughs> I'll maybe get a few more packs of them in another time. And of course, next week, the new ones, the um, I think they're called uh, macaroon ones. Apparently they taste a bit like bounty bars. They're coconut. I love, love coconut. Um, and they're light ones, so you can have two of them for healthy bee. But I think when I'm having the hi-fi light bars, I think what I'll do is I'll maybe have... Um, one Weetabix at breakfast with some fruit and a little of my healthy A milk and then have um, one of the Hi-Fi Light Bars for the second half of my healthy bee as a snack later on. And um, that way I'm not just guzzling down two um, cereal bars just because I can, which I think strikes me as probably a healthier way to look at food, not just eating things because I can. And this week um, I have been kind of carb loading a bit. I knew it was, I was heading towards uh, that time of the month and I always feel like carb loading and I always feel like chocolate loading but I didn't go overboard with chocolate this time. I did however eat quite a bit of potato and a lot of pasta and a lot of rice. I've been craving rice this week. I've had rice about four times and I usually have it once, twice a fortnight. So um, I know that has uh, been part of what's <laughs> doing it. I know rice is a free food but... I have still had at least a third speed on my plate. Um, <clears throat> I always have at least a, a third of the plate, probably more close to half 
because I love all my vegetables and stuff anyway, so <laughs> that's fine. But um, <clears throat> I have been kind of carb loading this this week, so um, and it's in a way that I don't usually have that much in the way of carbs. I don't cut carbs out, I do have them. I just don't tend to have that much of them. So um, that's probably made a difference this week as well with the hormones, although because I didn't go overboard with the chocolate, I haven't gone uh, mental high like I might have done. So I'm hoping to be able to keep the chocolate cravings in check and uh, just stick to it. Oh, hearing a door go, that's my eldest son has come up the stairs. Can, can you go out please, darling? I'm videoing. Thank you. No? Oh, you want to come in the video as well? Come on then. This is, this is my eldest son. <laughs> And look, he's being uh, mm -hmm. he's being painted up as Iron Man. This is going on the on the um, on Facebook though, okay? Yeah. Oh, he's usually very shy and doesn't like having his picture taken. You have to be quiet, though, darling. Okay. Thank you. I'm nearly done. So um, <clears throat> this week I'm going to write everything down as I always do. But I think this week I'm actually going to hand my food diary in to my consultant Andy because I think if I know he's going to see it, then. It will make me really, really stick to it. So uh, I will be quite rigid, you know, like I did when I first started. I handed in um, food diaries and everything. So I think this is going to make the difference. Um, I'm feeling really positive and upbeat. Uh, speaking of being upbeat, <laughs> I realised today, um, the past eight years since I got pregnant with my eldest there, um, I've only ever drunk um, decaffeinated coffee. But um, I'm always really jazzed on a um, Friday morning and I realised because the coffee I drink at group isn't decaffeinated. <laughs> so I'm getting high as a kite on a Friday, which is probably why I'm in such a great mood when I do these videos. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to say goodbye now and because my eldest is now playing with something in my room and is making a noise when I asked him not to. <laughs> so I'm going to say goodbye. Um, have a great week and everybody... Be losers. Bye. <laughs>